Uh, basically what I've got, uh, what I like to use when I ride is a uh, Garmin GPS and it has this funny little antenna which uh, kind of would get in the way of the key if I just tried to mount it right there. Can't do that. I've got a little Hero 3 uh, digital camera and video camera that um, I'd like to try out to use on rides. And I've also got a uh, Oregon ATC um, video camera that I like to try nice and small. It's waterproof. I figured the best way to mount these electronics would be to place a bar from here to here and then mount all my electronics on top of that so I could, uh, the cameras could be, and GPS could be protected from the wind um, and any rocks that might be flying up uh, behind the windscreen. And it would also be above the key so that I wouldn't get in the way there. What I ended up doing was taking a piece of ABS black, uh, you can use PVC or uh, steel tubing, anything you can find um, that's about the right diameter, and cutting it at an angle on both sides, place a magnet inside of each end of the pipe. And I use hot glue to seal it in there, but that's going to stick nicely to these uh, two bolts that are right there on the handlebars and hold everything in place. And once you've got it all built and the magnets glued in, uh, make sure it fits right. And you can see it's pretty flush. It's pretty sturdy on there. If you use the earth magnets you can order online, you can get some pretty strong ones. And uh, that won't be falling off during your ride. I've tested it and it works great. Luckily my camera came with this um, mount for handlebars. So I attached the camera mount to the bar uh, that comes with my camera. And then I can just slide that right in there. And I'm ready to start taping. Also, I wanted to mount my little Hero 3 camera on the bars, so what I did is make a little sheet metal case, and this was just some uh, standard sheet metal you can buy from Home Depot, a uh, big rectangle plate, and go ahead and trace out your pattern on the sheet metal, uh, figure out where your bends are going to be, and how it's going to be designed to hold the camera. This one just happens to slide right down inside, just like that. And also make sure to uh, bend a piece that can fit either around and screw onto the bar or in my case into slide right into this camera mount. Just like that. I also like to uh, use this felt padding on the inside. Um, it has an adhesive on one side and felt on the other. Quick tip, I also like to use the felt with the adhesive on the back down here to protect my um, triangle from my keys rattling when I do have my big keychain on there um, to keep this uh, paint nice and keep it from getting scratched up. And lastly, um, I needed a good way to mount my GPS, so I made another sheet metal case. This one I painted up, but uh, you can see it's just some pretty simple bends. and. Uh, to make sure that it won't fall out while you're on the road. So put the felt in there to protect the uh, plastic casing on the GPS. Slides right down in there. And on the back, it has a clip here. So I can slide it right in here. And for this one, I actually need to adjust this. Adjust it into the vertical position so that I can slide in my GPS. And it's right here, out of the way, when I'm riding my bike, I can see um, all my dials and gauges and still use my GPS when I come to a stop. And it works great. Great thing about using magnets on the bar is that if you want to take it off, you just pop it right off and you're good to go. Back to stock.